<laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Friday Feedback Show. Hello from all of us. It's my turn to do some hey. hosting today. Got a hard, tough act to follow with some of the others that have gone before me. Right then, we're going to get straight on with yeah. it. I think. Uh, Hi, though. Yeah, well, <laughs> exactly. I'll give it a go. If worse comes to worst, I'll grab a ukulele and just start playing. <laughs> right then. Uh, <laughs> we'll start with me then today, I think. I'll show you a little bit of what they've been getting up to with their reading. So I've, done, I've gone a little bit different today because rather than showing um, sort of going into lots of detail about it, what I thought it would be worth doing just so that we could point it out is what I've, I've chosen just one of the pieces of work from this week, but I've shown four or five different children's way of going about that one piece of work so that, oh, no, um, I... so that they can see that actually it really doesn't matter how they decide to do these tasks as long as they're having a go at interacting with them in some way. So this was, the task was to think about how three different characters were feeling at three different stages within a chapter. So at the beginning of the chapter, how were mum, dad and Cameron feeling? In the middle, how were they feeling? And at the end, how were they feeling? Because in that chapter, Cameron is going through quite a lot. So the emotions that they're all feeling change dramatically through the course mm. of the chapter. So this is how one of the children decided to do it. You, we've got the sort of little faces. They've not bothered spending loads of time on drawing the artwork, which I did say to them, if they wanted to do that, just do like an emoji style face. And then you've got the thought bubbles mm. and then a little bit more detail underneath it as well, which isn't what I hadn't said anything about needing to put okay. extra detail in. So that was a really nice little um, way of going about it. This is another one that I've sent in. So again, this one's been sort of word processed, really sort of clear that it's been excellent sort of practice of these inference skills, really thinking about how characters feel. Throughout. And again, that one sort of, so that's all the same piece of work from this person. I <laughs> love the little drawings at the oh, end. Oh, wow. <laughs> Those. I love the faces in this one and the hair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I that know. confused. Yeah. Cameron, shocked, joyful. I, I, shocked dad. I, I really liked that one because we've got dad who's shocked and furious, Cameron who's joyful and shocked, all these really good adjectives. Then you've got mum, <laughs> pregnant. Pregnant. I love her face when she's pregnant. Yeah, that's the feeling of a They're pregnant. Very mom. comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Which I uh, yeah. thor thoroughly right. enjoy. <laughs> um, and then this one sort of just. Wow, is that just one day's piece of work? Yeah, this is this was just one of the day's pieces of work from this week. Wow, amazing! Um, yeah, so they've really gone to town on it. Um, again, different way of presenting it. You've got the sort of thought bubbles for each of them, and then and again another Love. one thought bubbles sort of coming out from the names and again they've got the three different stages of the chapter as it goes through as well and it was just really nice to see oh, them wow. nice to see you. yeah because I think yeah um, yeah great. One, one of the strengths of Pig Heart Boy as a book is that it really does it covers quite a lot of quite mature themes actually there's quite a lot of stuff about health and mental well-being there's stuff about family and friends and when they don't get along how you cope with that and all that sort of stuff as well so they've really thought about mm. it and then this was just one more as well just sort of very they, clearly this person's quite just process orientated and logical in their thinking so we've just got the names and then how they're feeling each time we've not got to go into all the colorful bubbles and all that sort of stuff just yep yeah, this is it and that's absolutely fine as well yeah. so nice. I thought it was nice to yeah. see that there's like five different ways there of going about one yeah activity and then just yeah two, yeah two other really quick bits to share with you um I did ask specifically if I was okay to share this because although this person's got permission for us to share their work this was one that um was quite personal so one of the things we talked about on as you can see Monday's tutorial was Cameron is going in for this operation to have his heart transplant and he's really worried and he's trying to think mm. about um, things that when things have been difficult in his past, what he's thought about and how he's dealt with them to try and help him stay strong. So one of the tasks was to think for the children to think about times when things have been difficult in their own lives and what they've done to dig deep and stay strong so that they can think of those when times are tough in the future as well. And this was from a young lady in Jimmy's class, actually, in Mr. Evans' class. And she's clearly written down times when things have been difficult, but how she's got over them. And I just thought it was a really nice way 
to sort of yeah. do it, particularly that one at the bottom when she had a friend who was from Japan who mm, had to yeah, go back. Yeah, I was just reading Japan. that. Yeah. Um, and they stayed in touch and were pen pals and are still writing to each other now and that they sort of stay in contact. Yeah, it's lovely. They've made the best of a bad situation. So that was really, really nice. And then really, really quickly, I'll just show you a book review that I've had sent in. Um, this was ah. from... A couple of weeks ago, and obviously the, one of the nice things about us doing these YouTube videos is they stay there. So if the kids did, for whatever reason, miss a lesson or were doing something and it didn't have time to get the work done, they can go back and have a look. So this person sent in a really, really lovely book review, which was a task that I set the kids to have a go at wow. a couple of weeks ago, actually. So really nice that we've got that one in. And just really, Yeah, such a lot of detail. Yes, yeah, so Get much that. detail. Really, really good. Really, really well set out beautifully presented i like all the process. change in font and everything as well I know. amazing that really, looks really, really good, good doesn't it very very thorough piece of writing there so yeah so that lovely. is oh, lovely. that is me what's really impressive is um you know reading these books when we read in class we have such a lot of discussion don't we and yeah things that aren't necessarily planned as teachers but you just go on tangents and discuss it and the children are you know reading these and not able to have those discussions but seeing about all the themes and the topics just in such a, a deep way it's really really impressive yeah absolutely really yeah, good really really good right who would like to go next Go on, then, Miss Lodge. <laughs> go on then Miss Lodge you go next and then we'll first. go to Mr Evans you did you got there first okay I got there first. Okay, I'll share my screen. Hold on a minute. Uh, yeah, it give Mr. Evans a moment to remember how he can share his screen, so that goes super smoothly this time. Right. <laughs> okay. I'm trying. Hmm. I practice. <laughs> okay. Right. So, the, some of this is from um, a little bit further back because I've had so many different um, types of topics now that we're doing because we're working through Power Maths books now yeah. some of the stuff moves quite quickly so this was from a few weeks ago where we were year fives were doing multiplying and dividing by that dreaded ten hundred thousand. <laughs> and these were just a couple of bits of work that was so beautifully presented and again a bit really like Mr. Moore was saying presented in different ways that aren't necessarily on the sheets that we've sent mm. but really done a lovely job so that was just something from quite a while ago that i wanted to show and then now this is you can recognize the good old power maths books yeah. So we've been doing um, parallel perpendicular lines and they've done some shape work. Um, we're now moving on to reflection, translation, so many different things. And again, a bit like Miss Stray was saying, but really hard concepts, some of them, but they're really tackling them well, you know, with all the different types of things that they've got. And right. then you can see, sorry, over here. I was going to say, I was, I was say, yeah, love the cross curricular geography that you've got in there as well. That's amazing. Yes. Well, that was something I just put in for a Friday about the, the different flags and they had to count all the different parallel and perpendicular lines and then had to find the countries <laughs> that they were from. So that was quite fun. I don't on my screen, I don't know if you can see all of it. Wait a minute. I'm just gonna try and move this. Hold on. Hold on. Hmm. Yeah, so look, you can see this person here. I'm just gonna move us over here. You can see they really have calculated them all and they were counting all the different lines. Some of them were really hard, especially the Great Britain one. It was a bit uh, a bit yeah. punchy. Yeah. So that was that. And then year six oh my goodness the white rose stuff that year six i'm so impressed with them actually they have had some really hard stuff so this was percentages and again some people have i don't even know how they've managed to do it to write on the sheets online here some people have printed them off and write, write written on them themselves and some people every single time like tirelessly write out the questions write them all down and again it's quite hard stuff now you know more transitioning to year seven i think so yeah the that definitely they've been yeah but that's been brilliant and then again this is a bit more of the shape stuff done by year five and i put this one here in the middle i don't know if you'll be able to see, oh, that's see my so arrow cool. here but this oh wow one. yeah yeah so this well this person that sent this thing was like the um this was part of the end of unit check i think and it, like it was it, about yeah. drawing three different hexagons. Yeah, and I didn't even think about doing it in a 3D shape. No. Some people did just different, you know, hexagons. And I was like, wow, that was really <laughs> good. So I was really impressed. They're really using everything that they've done, you know, for it. So that was good. Yeah, incredible. And 
incredible and so many of the children I did this as its own page are doing the challenges which some of these are in my group that I know find maths a bit more tricky but they're still going all the way through those pages doing the challenge doing the reflect at the end which is just brilliant, brilliant. to see isn't it really really good to see yeah really good I suppose one nice thing about working at home that you wouldn't have in class is if you know, say if you're learning about parallel and per perpendicular lines and you've not quite grasped it, you can do a little YouTube search and find yeah. Yeah. some more videos yeah, to help you good. understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd yeah. be there like <laughs> looking at all the tutorials. Yeah, I can't Definitely. do it. Definitely, yeah, yeah. And then this was because I've been, we've still been trying to do, like putting in the end of unit check and then, you know, they do the my journal bit on a day when we've got to the end of a unit. And I just was so pleased to see how many children are actually doing that to see how they've got on. This person here at the bottom has literally drawn the entire end of unit check out. <laughs> wow. Just amazing, Yeah. you know, and then you can see over here, there's, this was another challenge at the end of the journal about being able to tear a piece of paper to create different size squares. Mm. Just lovely, really yeah. good to see yeah. all doing their journals. Um, on there and then this again now this is the final bit for year six they've moved on to sort of really crazy stuff now it's kind of substitutions it's inputs and outputs um it, all sorts of equations two-step equations and properly you know hard and just wanted to show some of the quality of what they're doing and it's again brilliant. people writing it all out um and people have been good at sending emails if they're a bit stuck and watching the videos and you know making sure everything everything's ticking over so just Aww. amazing really good One superb yeah very nice to wow. see their maths really i was dreaming good. about teaching math last night oh <laughs> i know You're chanting in fractions lovely <laughs> <laughs> did you wake up sat bolt upright doing it <laughs> i was like woke up i was like can i still teach maths <laughs> <laughs> oh. right. mr evans you get the, ple the pleasure now okay let's go screen oh look at this straight off that was smooth oh, straight off. that was smooth <laughs> <laughs> we've not got anything up yet that's, that's true but it's promising start <laughs> there you go wait yeah, look at this wait. look at this learning in action oh mr evans right theme so <clears throat> amazing places we did this a few weeks ago um and i got them to choose an amazing place uh that they've either been to or they want to go to um, and they presented it in different ways. So some of, some people have done non-chronological report reports. Um, so someone's done Turkey and spoken about the food, uh, and what money they use. Um, and, uh, like there's like, uh, um, like favorite things to do. Uh, someone's chosen Prague and done it in a poster. So made it very, very colorful, really colorful beautiful. Yeah. Um, someone's just spoken about a place in Turkey called, I mean, I'm going to ruin this pronunciation, so I'm going to say Hatay, how I would say it, but it's That's probably not me. pronounced. <laughs> um, and just told me a little bit about that. They did another, um, mm. uh, another piece of work as well, added onto that, but I couldn't fit everything in. Yeah. Uh, we've got delightful Dubai. <laughs> um, <laughs> And there was one where you did, uh, where Miss Stray did animals in um, uh, in different countries, and this is Australia. And I just thought I'd wanted to share this just because it was really, really good. Uh, and she went in depth about koalas, uh, and I really like koalas, so that was really, really good. Um, <laughs> next slide. So this is about silver linings. I've got another bit uh, on silver linings, which I just need to go out of the, I'll go back to it. Um, but on the left, they've gone what they, you know, what they miss. So I miss seeing my friends every day. And then on the right, uh, it's, but yeah, I can nice. play online with them and I know I'll see them soon. So that's being very, very hopeful. Really lovely silver lining. Yeah. You know, I think that's a great one. Um, I miss seeing my family uh, from far away, but I still spend time with my mum and siblings, which is a really good thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I miss going to hockey matches, but I still manage to play at home. Now, I don't know how <laughs> they manage to play at that's home, because that seems quite <laughs> dangerous. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I really like seeing those things, because it's very, very easy in, in these times to be very down and feel mm. bad about everything. But as long as you feel, you can feel bad about something, but then see something positive. Definitely. That's a really, really good thing. The yeah. songs. Excellent. 
I've got some wonderful songs here. Um, some people really, really enjoyed it. They sent me a message saying they really, really enjoyed doing this task where they, re, they uh, rewrote the lyrics of a song um, and they included Silver Lining. So we've got, we've got lots and lots. So um, there was, I don't like to stay at home uh, in the most sunny season, which is called summer, but I like to stay with my family. And I realised that. So it, when you listen to the song, it does really, really fit well. Because um, it is a sunny season and we're, we've it got is. to... We've, we're very was. restricted. It, it was. was. It's not anymore. It will be it's again. Going to be. It will be it's going again. To be. Uh. <laughs> and I've got a song by Oscar. And oh, I'm going to play a little it. bit too, is it? <laughs> oh, has it failed? It might be, Mr. It. Evans, if you're currently listening through your headphones, yeah. it might not work. You might need to undo your headphones just to play this oh, and yeah. put them back on. It's not even playing through my headphones. Is it not? Oh, I knew I'd come up to one thing. Oh, um, What we okay. might be able to do, if Oscar is okay with it, we might be able to send his song out via email to all the kids. That would be a good thing, yeah. So the song lyrics that he, re uh, he rewrote is here. Um, is this one here and then he done the he done a song as well with it and it sounds really really good it sounds very um, like it's from the 60s really really oh, enjoyed it lovely. really sounds really yeah, enjoyed yeah. it yeah. Well, we'll very we'll Miss Tracy Miss Tracy Miss Tracy's heard it <laughs> yeah um, like it really just made my day well, oh, it was double, great. One we'll of those days check. where it was just raining all day. I listened to this song and Amazing. I was like, oh, I feel happy now. <laughs> well, we'll double check with Oscar that he's okay with it. But assuming he is, we'll get that sent out to everybody. Amazing, amazing. Uh, artwork, beautiful artwork here. Oh, the yeah. light and dark. Lovely. Just excellent. Look at that. Um, <clears throat> and then someone put, uh, it was National Teacher Day a few weeks ago. Uh, and they just wrote to me about um, saying how much uh, they miss uh and uh, they miss me as a teacher um and they're very very appreciative so i really really like that as well and they do a little bit of artwork as well which is very very good so artwork's awesome um right so that's the end of that slide however i've however. got some more things that i couldn't fit in <laughs> we got a presentation on jaipur oh, wow. the pink city Lovely. wonderful pink city Excellent. Shows me where it is. Tells me loads of things. Wow. Look at that building. That's amazing. Yeah, it's Just amazing. Incredible. Love it. Um, water Palace. Jai oh, Mahal, wow. meaning Water Palace. Oh, I want to go it's here. <laughs> just so cool. I was so, so excited. And this place. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> look at They're that. using different features. Of the PowerPoint as well, which is amazing. Some brilliant um, IT skills in there as well, then. Just excellent, excellent stuff. And I'm just just wonderful just seeing all these different things. Very, very informative. Um, I've got a couple more. I am, I've, I've done a lot more this week. With, uh, there's loads of people sending lots of really, really good work, and I wanted to show as much as I can. Um, we've got that Albert Hall Museum. So, uh, which, my great, my oh, great granddad, of course. Albert Hall. Albert Hall. Oh, 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 what, a, what a terrible joke there. Yeah, right. Anyway. Um, so, uh, and then we have some more silver linings. Uh, so this is from Chirin. Uh, I'm able to improve my art and hobby skills. Um, I'm missing my school and teachers badly. A, I'm featured in this. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, virtual classes. You know, they make us feel good, uh, feel at school, which is great. Mm -hmm. So it shows that what we're doing on these videos on a weekly basis shows that the kids are really enjoying it as well. Makes it all worth and it. And then, uh, yeah, and it just says, uh, I love this little bit at the end. The world is united together to fight against the invisible enemy, moving towards a stronger feeling of oneness. Oh, that is lovely. Oh, that gives me goosebumps. I was going to say. How beautiful is that? Now Can we got, get that on a T-shirt? I know, <laughs> but that, you know, we perhaps we get a design, perhaps we could do a little competition, design that. Definitely. Uh, then we've got Auckland, the city of Auckland. Beautiful. Lots of different things. Uh, let me see. Showing where, which is where it's located. Very, very informative. 
Um, some facts about it. Uh, and then the Sky Tower. And it gives me what, you know, this is from uh, Benjamin. It's very, 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 very good work. Um, the yeah. next bit. There's, there's one of my favourite favorite slides ever oh, in this next one. It's a big claim. Um, favourite slide ever. It's a big claim. Just, just through the wording of it, it made me laugh so much. So <laughs> London. So this is by Thomas. Um, London. Absolutely incredible. Telling me all these good things about London. Uh, the attractions. Um, wait, wait, wait. Let's we'll start again. Hmm. So this is by Thomas. <laughs> facts about London, um, you know, just lots of pictures, oh. full English breakfast, oh. maybe mm. very, very hungry, steak and chips, oh, just mm. making me very, very hungry, entertainment, theatre, now this slide is my favourite slide, Here and we go. only, please read the first bullet point, I'm going to get uh, Miss Stray to read it. <laughs> In London, there are lots of museums <laughs> that can suck the time out of your day <laughs> for a sum. Because I've not Honestly. got... It's a brilliant one, but because I've not got very good eyesight, I definitely read that as can suck the lime out of your day. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Honestly, suck the time out of your day. That made me laugh so much. And I said, uh, you know, I grew up going to lots of museums. My parents <laughs> took me to lots of museums and I grew to love them. So I'm hoping one day Thomas is gr grows to love all these museums. <laughs> but my favourite slide of all time. Uh, it so does take it. time, doesn't it? <laughs> it to, does. To grow to love going to a museum. It does. And you go and you're like, that was great. And you're like, oh, I'm grown up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay, so that was, that was me. Lots of fantastic work. I'm still yeah, getting brilliant. lots of fantastic work. And I couldn't share all of them. Um, but uh yeah so next oh, next time we do it we amazing. will so, so nice to see. very good really Stop really sharing. lovely yes well done. Right. Hey, so I, think, me. Yeah, I think that means you miss Stray. um so i am mainly going to share the non-chronological reports because i've still got loads of monologues coming through now but i've got a couple of monologues to look at as well um here we go no. No, oh, no. <laughs> Ignore that. Here we go. Oh, just <laughs> yes. It wasn't me Ooh. this week. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> I've got too much open on my computer. <laughs> um, right. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's all right. This is, this is when we need an imaginary watch. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Friday <laughs> feedback <laughs> show, that's what I called. That would be it, yeah, that would make perfect sense. <laughs> yeah. You've just made Ooh. Jimmy's week though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Um yeah, so I got some incredible non-chronological reports. So impressed with the quality. Um, like the IT skills are just phenomenal, and you'll see some as we go through where um yeah just the ability to lay it out like that is just great um the word choice and the way they've been written i can see that they've really really listened to the videos taken on board um the advice that i've given um looked at the model text so this is one from a young man in my class peaceful park and just in black down the side, I've just picked out some of the phrases that I loved, that I thought made it a really high quality piece of writing. So he talks about the best rated views. People will pose a problem. It's I love soothingly that. quiet. What a great word, soothing. Yeah, really good. He wants to escape the hustle and bustle of everyday life and wants in a lifetime experience. So you can see they're really setting this up right in that introduction to be this amazing, mm. peaceful place. I really like this one. Uh, there's a book that I like, I, uh, like to read um, called Noises in the Park by Anthony Brown. Um, and it describes different noises in the park. So this is, this is really, really good. It reminded me of that, mm. that book. Oh, yeah, it's fantastic. Um, yeah. It's not actually all on there there was a bit more as well but it's what i could fit on the powerpoint that's fair um 
and this is a year five girl um and again in black these are just from the introduction so they're just phrases from the introduction wow. fringed by sandy beaches perched on the northwest corner that verb there perched it's just of such a high level the vocabulary mm. Um, it look like a year five piece of writing at all, does oh, it? It's amazing. Amazing. I've been blown really away, good. and like how it's been laid out as well, and the amount of detail is just fantastic. It really does make you want to go there. Yeah, really yeah, does. no, look at really, that picture. Really does. I'm picturing myself there now. <laughs> um, Lots of rhetorical questions as well. I really like that. Yeah, so that's something that I'd um taught and looked at in the videos was about that engagement so you're giving information but you're trying to do it in a really engaging way um and that really came across in their pieces of writing that they sent over um yeah really yeah. lovely this one just really made me laugh um zanius zoo <laughs> um so i love this section about the monkeys at this zoo <laughs> Uh, it's the largest area because it's used by the monkeys to ride their bicycles <laughs> all day. The monkeys eat fruits and nuts, play with them, and again, ride their bicycles. <laughs> a miniature macho magical monkey, which is the smallest of all, performs some extraordinary tricks, which will definitely amuse you. Oh, it's brilliant. <laughs> so, yeah, um, it was lovely to allow the children just to use their imagination and you mm. can see that this child has got this fantastic imagination but written in a really clear, clear way using all those year five and six language features. So, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, brilliant. Um, so good. That is so good. I'm just going to, I'm not going to go through all of them, but um, I've just picked out some that were sent that I really wanted to share. So, Definitely. Um, these two, oh. fantastic. So we've got Amazing. one all about the Tricos Zoo, laid out fantastically. Yeah. Um, and these are both year five pieces of work. And right. yeah, it's getting to the point where you can't, see the difference between year five and six mm. so, um, it's great because we, we went to toy cross to last year in year four so nice that oh, they they yeah. remind they remember that and yeah. um use some of their knowledge from toy cross to, so should be opening yes. again soon shouldn't it hopefully yeah. yes it should it yeah yeah um wow. another two here so Thanks. again really engaging loads of detail Lovely presentation as well with them. Beautiful, beautiful layout. Beautiful. I always love the, we're in a non-chronological report where there's a fun fact. I yeah. always love those because those are the ones you really yeah. remember as well. You jump, yeah. you jump to them first, don't you? You go and read I that do, one. I do, yeah. <laughs> yeah I do. Like, did you know that a lady named Susan Warren found netherite in the mine? She's now a billionaire. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> I know. I do in, now. In, Susan. Susan. Get in, <laughs> Susan. Um, and... These so two. Look at that burger. Disneyland really <laughs> makes. Oh, yeah, that's a good looking burger, isn't it? Um, and this one, wow. this is just the first page of it. I think it was about three pages long. Oh my wow. goodness. Wow. It shows that yeah. it can still be really beautifully laid out, though, even when it's handwritten. It doesn't need to be yeah. Yeah. processed. Yeah, really yeah. Lovely. And they have just lovely presentation. Yeah. And again, all those language features really you know, the use of expanded noun phrases to give all that specific detail. And this is the final one of non-chronological reports. And it was nice because I think there was a bit of crossover with um, the non-chronological reports and the theme work that was set. Mm. Um, so they've kind of merged the two, done it about yeah. the place, but they've followed all of the um, writing tutorials in order yeah. to produce these mm. um so yeah loads of fascinating really interesting facts actually um, mm -hmm. it's incredible really good so, yeah we've got um japan and you just find out so much about them it really makes you want to go and visit these places <laughs> um really yeah good. definitely so finally the last thing i wanted to share with everyone is 
the um, is a couple of monologues. Um, so I'm getting, I've been hearing my email pinging all morning, so I know I'm getting lots through today. Um, but I just wanted to share a couple that are both, they're really different. Um, so it might give people a good idea of the different kind of things you can write. So this one, I've cut it off the top actually, but it starts with this person, this girl picking up the phone and this is what they say oh, over the phone, nice which idea. I thought was a really, yeah, mm -hmm. just a clever mm -hmm. way of introducing that monologue. Um, and um, I, I've loved the monologues I've had where they're just really honest about how they've been finding lockdown because yeah. as their teacher, they're sending me work, but I'm not able to have those conversations where I find out how they are. Um, so it's been a really nice, sometimes a bit sad but it's it's realistic isn't it and it's yeah. on it about their experience um so i'll just read the start of this one for you so lockdown hasn't been so bad actually at least now i can spend some quality time with my parents but homework is the thing it's just <laughs> been getting on my nerves recently i absolutely hate doing work at home and that's kind of why i want to go back to school Lately, I've been kind of happy that I haven't seen my school bag in so long. Can't even remember where I last put it. <laughs> so you can see they're, really you know, nice. they're really mm. just expressing themselves. Yeah. And, um, really can, nice. You can, you can hear their voice through it. So they're writing with yeah. a real tone, really, really yeah. well picked up. Yeah. And unlike the other units of work we've done, um, I didn't ask, like, talk too much about grammatical features with this one the thing that i was um teaching them was about getting that voice across and that tone and trying to write in a character um so it's lovely that this person's achieved it definitely um and this next really one good. is something completely different um so this is oscars <laughs> and he did send me this towards the beginning of the week. So he might um, redraft and send me another, um, but I, I really love this as a, you know, a first <laughs> draft. Um, so it's called Earth Visitor. Um, and yeah, it's just a really different take on lockdown. Um, so I, I'll read you some sections. I went to Earth the other day, and it was nothing like when I went a couple of centuries ago. Back then, I visited King George III <laughs> and nursed him through his madness. I also helped George IV with his plans to build Buckingham Palace. When I came back, it was completely different, though. Firstly, they had finally invented cars. I wondered how long it would take them, and it was much less busy. Now I come to think of it, it was eerily silent on the streets. Normally the city centres are packed. <laughs> and then it goes into just Amazing. the differences yeah, yeah. and Amazing. how the virus is affecting. And I thought just a really clever, unique, yeah. imaginative way of exploring the situation so really from a nice. different perspective. Yeah. And, and that's such good thing I um, spoke about with them as well, was thinking about different perspectives, looking in on the situation. Um, mm. So yeah. yeah, just fantastic. And knowledge of history there, all about King George, knowing about King George the Third being mad and all those things. Yeah, yeah. Really it's lovely good. when you see really, children's really own individual interests yeah. in their own own writing, mm. and you can see that throughout everything I've shared. I think that that they're being able to express and write. I don't care if Monday's blue, Tuesday's grey, and Wednesday. Say I don't care about you, it's 